All right, guys, JT here from doglegdiscoff.com. I'm here accompanied with Sean Callahan. Thank you, JT. Super excited that you invited me out for this. I know one thing that I love doing is playing disc golf, and when the sun goes down, I'm kind of sad because I have to stop playing. But not with these. Not with these. You're exactly right, Sean. What we have here is not just a glow disc, but it's an LED disc. These are called flash flights, but put out by Night Eyes really cool disc we're gonna be reviewing those here in a second uh, we're gonna be doing some test throws to kind of show yep. you how they fly uh, but they're modeled after regular discs so they feel really nice they have a super grip patented super grip material um, and they light up with LED lights one thing that's really cool about these you push the button to turn it off so they all come like this you turn it on it'll cycle through um, I think it was like six different colors once you get to the color you like you push it again it locks that color in place. So they're perfect for playing with a group of friends. Um, that way you don't get each other's discs mixed up. You're just one person would go through, they would set their driver, mid-range, and their putter to the same color and play by colors that way. What we're gonna do here tonight is actually throw a couple throws right behind us towards a basket that's way off in the distance. I don't necessarily have a night vision camera, so I'm curious to see what all this is gonna pick up. But these are very, very bright uh, and they stand out really well in the dark. Um, just to kind of help with the, the filming of this, we are going to set up under a street light so the colors may be skewed a little bit, but you'll be able to see these fly off in the distance, and that's what I really want to focus on, show you guys tonight. Yeah, um, I'm, uh, we've thrown a couple of these so far, about to throw a couple more. Um, it's a very sticky plastic, it's really good to get a grip with, so even when at night it starts to get a little bit of condensation on the ground, um, the stickiness of the plastic actually helps you kind of keep your grip as you're throwing. Um, and I've actually found that the the fact that these light up, I find it a lot easier to find these when they my disc goes into the woods at night, uh, more so than during the day because it still gets buried under leaves and stuff like that. But even at night, these things kind of light up the whole area around it. So I spend a lot of time in the woods, so these are definitely helpful, and I'm glad to, to, to be out here playing with these. Yeah. Last thing I was going to say about these, now these are not PDGA approved yet, but they are molded after real disc. Uh, they have a very, very similar weight and feel. They range in weight. Uh, I think it was from like 167 to 175. They're not actually marked, but uh, I mean, they, they feel very durable. Uh, they don't feel too heavy. You know, when you're playing at night, you're probably expecting to hit a lot of trees anyway, but I think these could definitely stand the test. Like Sean said, they have a patented super grip material. So, uh, you know, very grippy. When you're gonna be playing at night, most time anyway, there's gonna be, uh, you know, the dew or condensation on the ground. Mm -hmm. um, and this grip helps, so. Uh, we're going to start out, we're going to throw the drivers first so you guys can see what they look like. Um, Sean and I have already thrown these a couple of times. I don't know about you, Sean, but to me I feel like the driver is a little bit more stable to overstable, but I'll, uh, I'll let you guys see what you think on that. Yep, I agree. This that Sean and I just threw were the drivers. Now we're going to be throwing the mid range. The mid range, uh, to me, these are a little bit uh, just, just stable. So I'm actually going to release it with a slight kind of hyzer just so it can uh, flatten out and go a little bit straighter. And last but not least, the putter. The 
putter. Stable flight. We'll release this with a little bit of a ice as well. Hey guys, I uh, just wanted to do a couple of quick words about the putter here. Um, the, to me the putter, it's pretty nice. It's not that far off from the putters that I'm used to using. Um, it's got a pretty deep lip on it. Um, but the one thing I guess that I would really want to bring up in regards to the putter is um, I've had, I noticed some difficulty when I tried to use it with one of the brighter um, LED settings on here. Um, so whereas I would like to line up my putt and it kind of goes in front of my line of vision. Um, it's a little distracting. It kind of throws off my depth perception a little bit. Um, so two things that I, I did to kind of combat that. One was to go with a, a dimmer kind of color choice. Uh, so the red one, it wasn't as distracting as it came in front of my line of vision. Um, another alternative that I did was to just turn the light off altogether. Um, the reason I was able to do this is if we lit up our basket like this, it allowed me to see still what I was aiming at and I didn't have to worry about losing the disc unless I was just having a really bad night. Um, but those are the two things of note about the putter. Otherwise, you know, good putter, um, I definitely recommend it. Hey guys, thanks again for checking out our review on doglegdiscoff.com on the Night Eyes Flash Flights. Uh, very cool LED technology here in these discs. I want to point out a couple more things before we end this review. A couple of the highlights that I really liked. Uh, first of all, the brightness. Super brightness. Um, I think these could beat out any other glow disc on the market, especially the ones that I've tried. Uh, you don't even have to worry about putting a light on your disc, you know, hoping that your disc will stay lit for the entire round. It's literally LED fiber optic technology in the back. It's got a battery in there that runs approximately 20 hours, six different colors to choose from. Again, you push the button to turn it on, it cycles through all six colors, push it one more time to stop it on the color that you want. Very cool. Makes it uh, really easy for a group of friends to play. Um, each friend picks a different color, set all your discs to that same color, and you don't get your discs crossed. Uh, very cool there. But going back to the brightness, it's kind of hard to tell in this bright white light. Um, but in the dark, super bright, you don't even need a flashlight to help you find these things in the woods. They're literally that bright. You need to try it out. Go check it out for yourself. As far as you can throw this thing, um, as long as it doesn't hook around trees or whatever, I promise you, you're not going to lose sight of this in the dark. Uh, they're that bright, literally. I hope you can tell that from some of the throws Sean and I were doing earlier. Um, extremely bright. Like I said, don't need a flashlight. Still recommend taking a flashlight anyway for safety. Put it on the basket. Light up your basket so you can throw towards it. Um, the only downside, talking about the brightness, uh, really kind of came into play when I was putting. When I was driving, it didn't really matter because you know the disc isn't necessarily coming across my face, but as I'm putting, you know, when you're lining it up, uh, some some of the colors are much brighter than others, and it's kind of distracting. It's almost kind of blinding in my face. Uh, just kind of that reflection kind of made it a little bit harder for the to see the basket. Um, on those, I would recommend just switching it to a, a different color. Like red, for example, is not as bright as some of the other ones. Um, it wasn't quite as distracting. Or if you got a light on the basket, just turn the light off when you're putting. Either way, it's not that big of a deal. Um, you know, but for a group of friends, you know, casual play awesome disc. We talked about the grip on these, especially playing uh, late at night or early in the morning, kind of sunrise round. You're going to have to do the condensation on the ground. Uh, this kind of grip, like a lot of the, the Prodigy, uh, the new kind of grip that they came out with where it's kind of super sticky, 
uh, really like it. That's really going to help in those situations. Um, also playing at night, expect to hit a lot of trees. One thing I really like about these discs is they have a very solid rim, it feels like. Um, I wouldn't say these are necessarily heavier than other discs, because the box says that they're anywhere from uh, 169 to 175 uh, grams weight professional molds. So they're modeled after probably a lot of the discs that you already have in your bag, uh, which is awesome. So it's got that comfortable feel. There's no extra really learning curve or anything like that. Uh, they don't fly different than any of your other disc. Uh, stability wise, um, I'd say they're all probably around stable. The driver was the only one that was a little bit more overstable to me. Uh, maybe different for you guys, but just my throwing style. The rest of them, like I said, uh, mid-range has a lot of glide. Uh, the putter has a lot of accuracy. Uh, I was actually very impressed. They do come in a box, come in a set, uh, so you get your one driver, one mid-range, and one putter. We'll see what else. Oh yeah, battery life, you get around 20 hours. I think I may have already mentioned that. Um, LED technology, or the fiber optic technology. Notice these ribs that are in the disc. Gives you extra kind of stability, strength in the disc, especially for hitting all those trees. Uh, very durable there. So once the light turns on, it goes through each of these little ribs to the outside of the disc. Um, can't really tell here, but in the dark, uh, they light up very well, like I mentioned several other times. Um, but yeah, other than that, if you got a group of friends and you got guys like to keep it playing after once the sun goes down, pick you up some of these. We've got a link down below on our blog article, or you could also go to flashflight.com to pick these up. Uh, once again, thanks Brooks as their contact over there at Night Eyes for hooking us up with a disc to try them out. Uh, love these things. Appreciate it. You guys need to get you some. Thank you. Say something I was like, pulse eight. <laughs> Can you see me? Yeah, you're red, but project. Yeah. You say something about like as disc golfers you never want to stop playing. But now you don't have to when the sun goes down. That's gonna be you. <laughs> you can get closer than that. Just during the day though, you gotta like okay, here comes somebody. It's gonna be awkward. It's been recording this whole time. So I know. We have a pretty good <laughs> I know. Wait, walk a little closer. I'll do that when you intro me. Okay. Okay. Sure. sure. I'm just holding it. Yeah. Because I get put on the spot to draw blanks. All right, Sean. Uh, what do we have here tonight? We have LED glow disc. These are called flash flights from nighteyes.com. Uh, it's a really cool disc. Um, they're really cool. Very cool. <laughs> Nailed it. Um.